46 is your vaccine team. The Food and Drug Administration advisors will meet today to review the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. If they recommend it, the FDA could sign off on it today or tomorrow. The news comes as researchers say they've discovered a new variant of the virus in New York City and it is spreading quickly. Here in Georgia, some college professors are disappointed they were not included in yesterday's announcement on who's next in line to get the COVID vaccines. CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm is live on the campus of Georgia Tech. Rebecca, young adults, including college students specifically, are the group most likely to test positive for the virus. Yeah, and Rob, a lot of times they have no symptoms, and so that's why college professors were uh, disappointed, not just the ones here at Tech, but across the state, that they were left off the list in this upcoming vaccine phase. I don't know why uh, we were not included. Matthew Bodie is president of the Georgia chapter of the American Association of University Professors. The professor at the University of North Georgia says he and his colleagues thought they'd be included in this next phase of Georgians eligible for COVID-19 vaccines. In fact, about 10 days ago, we were sent a survey. Uh, all the USG schools were sent a survey uh, asking uh, professors and faculty and staff to fill it out and see if they would take the vaccine and that was going to be used for planning purposes. So we assumed that that was going to happen. He says some medically fragile professors have been able to instruct through video conferencing, but that's not easy in some cases. Teaching students in the biology lab means you have to be up close and personal. And so we've had some people um, believe they got tested positive because of their interaction with students in a lab. Governor Brian Kemp said this when asked why college professors were not included in the phase that begins March 8th. They have a lot of different options per the university system uh, for way they're handling their classes, social distancing. With early care and learning, if a parent doesn't have a place to drop their child off, they can't go to work. Uh, many of my colleagues were on Facebook yesterday just um, Frustrated, uh, that would be the key word there, that they're, they're not included in the vaccination here, and that would have been a light at the end of the tunnel for them. So I'm disappointed, but I do understand that uh, more people getting vaccinated is better for all of us. And taking a live look on the campus of Georgia Tech, there's definitely a lot less activity on campus compared to a year ago. Still, professors wish they could get a timeline of when they can get vaccinated. Of course, they realize it all has to be fluid because it just depends on the supply of the vaccine coming in. We're live in Atlanta, Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.